Hello and welcome to the second screencast I'm doing on OpenGL here. I'd like to uh, just say that I appreciate your time. Um, today we're going to be talking about bitmap characters in OpenGL. So we don't have a lot of support for doing text and fonts, but um, we're going to define a couple convenience methods today that can be used throughout all of our OpenGL programming. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see, um, the, we're using the same file as last time. Everything is the exact same throughout it. The only major difference is that um, we will be uh, not defining all of our includes at the top over here. So um, if you want to see what we're going to do, go ahead and stick around. So let's get started here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start including um, screencasts.h. So we're going to keep all of our um, convenience methods somewhere else so that all of our programs can use it um, when we make our programs instead of copying and pasting over and over again. So let's go ahead and open up screencasts.h and move this up a little bit so you can see. So Screencast.h doesn't have a lot in it right now. <laughs> so I've actually defined it in another folder over here. Um, and I'm going to copy paste it because we'll just be able to save a little time and walk through it. Because a lot of it you've already seen. So the first thing you haven't seen is we have this if not defined screencasts, define it. So this allows us to include things only once. So we don't need to re include things and have some errors there. So we're going to include all the standard libraries, arguments, string math time, all that stuff that we may eventually end up using. Um, if you don't want to include the things you're not using right now, you can feel free to keep those out. We will be using them eventually. Um, freeze and glue, we'll define that. Apple, same thing. And then prototypes, which is going to be where our, our C prototypes are for our functions. So let's go ahead and uh, define those. Um, we're going to have three convenience functions today for bitmap characters, um, for printing characters on screen. So, um, I'll just call it printing convenience, if I can spell. Um, and we'll have three. We'll have one that is the actual, um, does all the actual work. We're going to have one that will just allow us to print arbitrary characters. And then we're going to have one that will allow us to say the x and y coordinates from the bottom left hand side of the screen. Um, and those are our three convenience methods right there. So let's go ahead and define those then. Okay. So the first thing you got to do here is we're going to include our screencast on this side too. And let's define length of. This is going to be for our buffer. And we'll do the actual one first. And all right. So I'm gonna have a char array. I'm not gonna talk too much about the actual C code, but I will talk about the OpenGL specific stuff. Alright, so this is where the magic happens. It's called glut bit map character. And there's several uh, different fonts you can put in here. Um, actually, there's only two fonts and several different sizes. And we're extremely limited by glut. So I'm sure if you're using 
um, QT or SDL or one of those, you'll have a lot more options. But for us right now, we're, we'll be sticking with Glut Bitmap Helvetica, size 10, and then we'll iterate through each of the characters. So that's pretty much what this says. Uh, we take each of the characters that we have and we iterate through them. So let's go ahead and write the first uh, format. First convenience method. And what we'll have here is we'll have a a list of arguments. A start. Format. Print v. So we're calling our other function with our arguments and formats. And v a end. So you may be looking at this if you're a C developer and you're like, well, why is he just calling these instead of just calling the other? Uh, print v directly. Well, for our third convenience method, we would just have to define things all over again a third time. So uh, rather than having everything declared multiple times, this allows us to reuse code. So we'll have the int x, int y, const chair format. args once again. DA start args format print v and in args and then the one key change here is after the VA list we're going to use GL window POS 2i so that says window position in two integers so we'll take our x and the y that we were given, and that defines that. So we're able to reuse the print v for both both of these functions. So rather than having this same code multiple times, if we ever want to change, say, like the font, we just change it in one spot rather than both of these. So we have three convenience methods here. Two will be actually used. The print v is used by the other two. And so now we can go back to our exercise two. And scroll down here. Everything's the same. So here we're going to do some cool bitmap characters at this point. And um, um, we're going to hold on just a second. Okay. Sorry about that. So, first thing to remember is we're using a state machine, OpenGL is a state machine, so it maintains the state. So the color is currently 001. So we want to change that back to, like, say, white. Um, and then we can use our, go ahead and use our function. So let's try the print at first. And we can say hello bitmap characters. And then let's do the other one where we... So the other the other one, if we go we go print and again, and we can go ahead and make this. Oh, I got a an error here. Uh, in print C. So. That should be fine. Kill that. We should look at the prototypes. It's fine. Kill that. Prototypes. H three. Maybe I was missing something. Oh, a little spilling error here. Okay. Sorry about that. And another one because I have awesome at spelling today. Sorry, guys. And we are looking at line 30. 
go to There it is. All right, sorry. So we finally made it. And so let's load it up. So it's the same as before. Here it is. Except now we have hello bitmap character and again. So you can see the and again, which we defined right here, uh, just continues on from the current GL window position, um, whereas the other one sets it at five five. So we can go ahead in here and we can say GL window position 2i and say, let's say 5, um, let's say, actually, let's do 120. And let's go ahead and close that out and make again and run it again. And there we go, and you can see it's over 100 characters and up 20. Um, so that's just the, the difference of those two functionalities, and that's pretty much it for this screencast. Uh, sorry about all the spelling here, guys, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.